When you pull the trigger in an online game, your system sends a packet of information across the internet to the other player. Something can happen during that trip that causes lag in your game. To demonstrate the cause of lag, I'm going to be using a very simplified model of two homes playing an online game together. Inside the first house, you have an Xbox. When you pull the trigger on that Xbox, it sends a packet of information to the router, which then passes it onto the modem, and the modem puts the packet onto the internet. That packet of information crosses the internet to the other player's house, where it is accepted by their modem. Their modem then sends the packet to their router, which then passes the packet onto the Xbox, where the results are displayed on screen. The cause of lag is drastic variations in bandwidth, or speed, at different points in this connection. More specifically, the major cause is when you go from extremely high bandwidth within your home network to relatively low bandwidth when your packets are initially uploaded onto the internet. Now let's take a closer look at the bandwidth of this connection. Think of the height of this red bar as the bandwidth or speed of the connection. In this graphic, the bandwidth appears constant as the packet travels from one home network to the opposing player's home network. In reality, this is far from the truth. Let's take a look at a more accurate depiction of the speed of the connection between the two players. As you can see, the bandwidth varies drastically. The bandwidth inside your home is far greater than the bandwidth when your packets are first uploaded to the internet. You can see that the router and modem on the upstream side of the connection form a sort of a funnel. The router modem funnel takes a whole bunch of traffic or packets that are traveling at a very high bandwidth inside your home network and slows them down to match the much lower bandwidth of your connection to the internet. This drastic reduction in speed causes congestion of traffic or packets which in turn causes lag in your games. If we take a closer look at your local network and your upstream bandwidth, you can see why this funnel is such a huge problem for online games. The bandwidth inside your network can be somewhere between 100 to 1000 times the bandwidth at the modem, where your packets are actually put onto the internet. I'll show you an extreme example where we send the full amount of traffic your network is capable of sending at one time. If we freeze the animation here, you can see that even though we sent 100 packets, only one actually made it out of your network and onto the internet. Many packets filled up the funnel, which is the combined buffers of the router and modem, and the majority of packets are stuck with nowhere to go because the funnel is full. Those packets are dropped. They're gone forever. But if they're email packets or if they're web page packets, that information is resent and it will eventually get to its destination. But if those were game packets, they are not recent, they are gone forever, the result is lag in your game. Drop packets aren't the only problem that the router and modem cause. This highlighted packet in the middle of the funnel is your game packet. Now let's continue the animation. You can see that it takes quite a while for your game packet to get onto the internet because there were other packets in line ahead of it that were let out first. The effect on your game is lag. The router and modem can cause packets to lag for up to a full second. That means that if that's a game ping packet, your router and modem can add 1000 milliseconds to your ping before the packet even gets out of your network and onto the internet. Now it's not very often that you're going to flood your network like that, so let's take a look at a much more common example. Say you're playing a game and no one else is using the internet in your house. You have a computer on in the background, and one of the many programs installed on that computer checks for a software update. This red packet is an update packet, and the green packet is your game packet. They both get put into the funnel, but if the red packet gets let out first, your game packet is delayed. And that delay is lag. Even though you think that there's no one else using your internet connection, there may not even be anyone else home, there is always competing traffic like this on the network. And more often than not, it's that competing traffic that causes lag in your games. You can go ahead and watch the next video, which will show you exactly how the lag buster gets rid of the funnel problem and in turn eliminates lag from your games.